Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to try out these. I have the new Jaclyn skin tint and concealer, I bought them off Ulta. Who thought I would ever say that? This is pretty early morning, it's Saturday morning, I think it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm drinking my coffee, very delicious, and we are just going to try this on and I'll wear it throughout the day. I'll wear it for 12 hours, I think I'll, I'll probably be ready around 11, so 12 hours, it's 11 o'clock at night. I'll do a 12 hour wear test and we'll see if it's any good. And if you haven't been here before, if this is your first video here, hello, my name is Angie. I'm such a lover of beauty makeup. I love everything beauty makeup related. I like trying not all of it, but a lot of it so you don't have to. So I can let you know which things to skip and which things are really good. So if you want to see some more beauty videos, and don't forget to subscribe because I upload, well, quite a lot of videos. Like I said, this is morning coffee. And we are gonna do my makeup. I am still wearing, like, my PJs is a Nirvana t-shirt. I'm just <laughs> being a little bit chill. I bought these both out of Ulta. I was ordering some Olaplex conditioner and these had just launched, so I decided to get them. I got the skin tint in light. Let me look, cause I, I know I saved the prices, how much I, I usually don't talk about prices, but I thought that these were a typical, like, mid-ranged, mid-ranged price. So the concealer came in 35 different colors. This is a full coverage concealer and this is $26. I got mine in the light peach. I decided to get the peach because I really liked the peach color when I got it in the Anastasia concealer. It helps with dark circles. Oh, this one has the... I got the light in the in skin tint and it comes in 12 different shades. This is a light coverage, like luminous skin tint. And this one is meant to be a skin tint and a primer. So I'm thinking, oh my God, this is so much darker. Is this gonna be too light? The shade up was a light medium with a pink undertone and I'm not a pink undertone. Since this was light coverage, I thought I'd get away with this, but this is the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. I do not have the Auric, um, the Auric one, but I'm sure it's similar as well. But we're gonna see if it's like that or if it's more like a skin tint or if it's like this one like a glowy primer that can be used on its own we're gonna try it out i don't have anything on my skin uh, except a little skincare but yeah i'm just gonna drink a little coffee i'll zoom in and we can start applying i did swatch the skin tint i will say i swatched it just to make sure that i had a, a reasonable color and i saw this from, like sponge needs to be clean and i saw that it's a very gel like consistency like you can see it holds together it's almost like a gel and this is probably you can see here one shade one shade too light for me yeah maybe i should actually if like if i like this one i should probably get the one that's two shades up which is a medium with a warm undertone because this one is just too light for me i mean i don't really have a lot of uh, self tanner on right now i have a little bit of self tanner but it's honestly not that much. It's a very, very thin layer and I haven't worn a self-tanner in weeks. So I'm only like a shade darker than I usually am and I do feel like this is, oh, you can see. So you can tell that it has a little bit of coverage. I would say like a light coverage and it looks fresh, almost like you put a moisturizer on. But it's definitely not hiding everything, but it looks nice. Consistency wise, I'm gonna do one more squirt. Consistency wise, it reminds me of, um, but this is a little bit more firm, but it reminds me of the Armani um, Neo Nude Foundation. That's also a little gel-like, but this is even more firm. It's almost like in the pudding, <laughs> pudding territory, but it goes on really nice. I, I like how this looks right now. Let me finish this up and we can do the concealer. And it didn't really cover up. I have had a little bit of a spot here and it doesn't cover up the little beauty spots that I have, but it's looking nice. Just a shade too, too light, but I will bronze up. It looks a little bit more dewy than I prefer. Um, I, I'm the, that's filming this, I have a pretty normal skin type, like I don't really get oily, I don't really get dry unless it's extremely dry and cold outside or extremely hot and humid outside. Other than that, I have pretty normal skin. I am turning 38 though in a couple of days, so I do have a lot of fine lines and I will say I don't like when things are too dewy because they tend to settle in fine lines. So we'll see how I feel about this. I'm not going to set it yet. We'll see how it acts. So this is the Light Peach Concealer. I think, like I said, this was $26. 
I'm just gonna use it a little bit like this because it is a skin tint and this is a full coverage concealer and I personally don't think that it looks good to use a concealer in any other part than under my eyes if I have a skin tint and the concealer is full coverage. I will say that when I swatched the concealer, because again I wanted to see if the shade was okay, I noticed that the concealer consistency feels a bit dry, so I don't know how I will like this. I'm gonna be honest, just initial swatch feeling, because it felt like a concealer that was a little bit heavy and dry. I haven't watched any um, reviews myself, but yeah, I can tell that it looks a little dry under my eyes. Hmm. This concealer is honestly not very good. Like it dries. The Wait, can I? Can you see if I turn the auto focus on? Hello. Can you see it? Like forms a line, and you can't like blend it out. Like this is dry, and like do you see the line here? Like I'm. It's like already done. I don't really understand this concealer. I don't think that this is meant for anyone above the age of 17. I'll try it, I'll try it. But yeah, um, um, and look, look at that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not convinced. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm gonna take this concealer off. I honestly think that you can see, like you can see the line where I tried to blend it and it looks so dry and crusty, like I wasn't able to, like it's already set. Like, it's, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not for me. I'm gonna change into a concealer that I like, which is this one, I have it here in front of me. I'm gonna change to the Born to Glow from NYX. This concealer, I don't know who this is for, but it's not, I'm not that bitch. It's not for this bitch. Okay, so I switched out to the concealer that I love, which is the NYX Born to Glow. Unfortunately, I think this is being discontinued. Some people say it's being repackaged, but I haven't seen this back. I don't, this this is gonna be another one of those like cut crease concealers. I think this is actually like, this is probably the worst concealer I've ever tried in my life. Like it was like cement, like this is something that you fix the foundation of your house with. You don't put it on your under eyes. This cat is gonna drive me bonkers. The foundation, like the skin tint, looks awesome. Let me actually put the autofocus on and you can see. <gasps> oh, did I zoom in? Ooh, look at me zooming in. It looks, it looks great. Like I have some fine lines in my under eyes, like it's normal. I'm 38, so it's normal. I think the skin tint looks great. It really looks amazing. The concealer looked horrible. It hasn't really settled in my lines at all. I did set it with a little powder in my smile lines and in my under eyes just to make sure that it was like not going everywhere, but it hasn't settled. It looks beautiful. I am gonna use a little bit of the the powder, the Jaclyn powder. Can I zoom out a bit? You can't go out now, sweetie. You chose to be here. You chose to be here and now you have to, ooh, now you have to be here. This is the, I think it's in carrots. Yeah, this is the luminous powder in carrots. Uh, I'm gonna use a little bit of this one just to try and deepen it up a little bit because this is a like a more of a warmer, like dark, beige finishing powder and it's gonna be even more glowy with this one. So I'm just gonna put a little bit where would the sun would hit me just to deepen it up a bit. And it is about 11 o'clock now. My husband took a shower, so I think it's, yeah. It's 11.01, so I am gonna have this on. I'll come back and I'll show you with my vlog camera how it looks in like more natural lighting. I thought this was gonna be a gloomy day, but it actually seems like it's gonna be a really nice day. So I will check in with you in a little bit and we'll see how this one is holding up. So far, I mean, I'm not even wearing the concealer. The concealer, like I said, it's not for me. It's gonna be a cut crease concealer for me. It is probably the worst concealer I've tried in my life. I'm not gonna try and sugarcoat it in any ways. It was a really horrible concealer, but the foundation looks fantastic, like the skin tint. So I'm gonna finish my coffee. I'm gonna do an eye look, so we'll see that in the check-in as well. That's gonna be a separate video. Skin tint, so far, wonderful. Wonderful skin tint. The other part, the concealer, absolute trash. I don't understand. It, it's like a mistake. <laughs> How, how does this exist? That's how I feel about the concealer. Skin tint, beautiful. Okay, I'll check in with you in a little bit. Okay, I'm doing a little check-in. I'm in the car. This is like natural lighting. This makeup has been through a lot, okay? 
<laughs> it is almost four o'clock, so it's been 12, one, two, three, four. So five, five hours, and I will say it looks really good. I've worn off a bit on the nose because I've been wearing the mask. As you can see, we've been to Target, and I've also been crying a bit, so some of this makeup is off. Oh my lord. <laughs> This makeup has been through the ringer. I will say it wears really pretty. It is a little bit glowy But I think that might be due to the mask like it's being a bit humid and not necessarily because of the um, <laughs> And not necessarily because of the skin tint. The skin tint is beautiful I'm really enjoying it and when I come home, I'm gonna blot a bit I'm just gonna powder just over the parts where I've been having a mask on but I will say I think it looks really pretty it worn off a little bit on the nose because of like I said the mask but I'm really impressed I'm really impressed we're going to Kohl's to do an Amazon like giving what do you call it an Amazon return am I living the full, <laughs> the full US life now doing an Amazon return I bought a monitor it just doesn't work for what its intended use is so we are returning it at Kohl's hello I am back <laughs> I'm here I'm back it is 2301 and I have like 5% of battery. Okay, here's the deal. I love this skin tint. I have been wearing a mask for I would say about half the day. I would say about half the day I've been wearing the mask and it has been rubbing off a little bit on my nose and a little bit on my chin. But that, like, what is to be expected? It's holding up really nice. Let me get closer. It's holding up really nice. I don't think there's any places that it's really like broken up or become weird uh, not even settling in lines really which is quite an achievement i really like it and since this is a light coverage since it doesn't break up on my skin even when wearing a mask and since when it wears off it wears off pretty gracefully i was able to blot it and just put a little powder like here throughout like half the day and it's been holding up really good you know what i like this one i like this one a lot the concealer Pro like listen, I already know <laughs> that concealer is going to be in the worst makeup releases of 2022 because I do not understand what happened. It's like a mistake accidentally released on the market. Probably the worst concealer I've ever tried in my life and you know how I felt about that tart creamy shape tape thingamajingy. That was also not, not my thing but really like this one, like how it looks, like everything about it, skin tint. Gives, gets it thumbs up, concealer, whoo, save your money, just, I don't know, I'm gonna use it for cut creases though. This makeup look, it's gonna be live, I don't think it's live when you're seeing this, it's gonna be live soon, as soon as it's live I will link it in the description box, so if you're not seeing this, like if you're seeing this a bit later, check the description box to see if the video's up, but this makeup look is coming real soon as well, and I am super excited about it. Um, I think that's everything, I think that's everything, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you again, uh, I don't know, maybe either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow for a new video, bye!